Building relational trust is really important, uh, particularly in the context of the, the Danish reforms happening at the moment. And the reason is because people don't want to collaborate with people they don't trust. They don't want to work for leaders whom they don't trust. Now, and we also know that uh, collaboration is really important in terms of the success of a school improvement effort. It's too hard to do on your own. You need to be able, if you're going to lift achievement of students, if you're going to reduce inequities between different social groups, that's hard work. Um, these, imp these reform goals have been set because things are not done well enough at the moment. As in most systems, they have similar goals. Nothing particularly uh, wrong with Denmark. But we do know that uh, that effort of uh, changing routines in schools, changing practices, taking risks, experimenting with new things, teachers are much more likely to do that if they trust the people that they're working with. It's such a big complex job that it has a whole lot of different bits. It requires collaboration. We don't want to collaborate with people we don't trust. In addition, trust has, we, we know from the research evidence that trust has particularly good consequences for both the adults and the students. For the adults, teachers feel uh, that they're not alone, that the burden is shared, that they can get help from others in a trusting school environment. And everybody's taking risks in a change process. And if we don't trust those we're working with, we go into our own shell, we don't take risks, we feel vulnerable, so we protect ourselves. Uh, so teachers will have a greater sense of support and um, sense of control over the, their jobs and not being so vulnerable in a trusting environment. For the students, uh, we know that when there is high levels of trust in a school, over time, achievement improves uh, much in a much greater extent, to a much greater extent, than in schools with lower levels of trust. So it's good for adults, it's good for students. You build trust through the quality of your daily interactions. We know what the causes of teachers' trust of leaders are, and those causes give us clues about how to raise trust. So I'll be talking about those causes. The quality of daily interaction is one of the most important determinants of trust. It is a function of uh, such things as deep respect, listening, especially when uh, others, colleagues disagree with you, uh, following through, walking the talk, being courageous, leaders are, who are courageous, who do not avoid uh, difficult issues, are seen as more trustworthy. Um, leaders need find, sometimes they find those conversations very difficult. And so I think uh, we have a model of how to teach leaders how to develop the capability of building trusting relationships while tackling the tough work of improvement. It's not about having the relationships and then getting on with the work. It's about doing the two things together. And that's quite difficult. Many school leaders find that challenging. And we have a, a, a development program that helps leaders build that capability.